So my bag has finally arrived. I'm really excited. Um, the website said that this would take between one and three business days and it's taken one and a half business days to get to us. Came just arrived before uh, lunchtime. So I believe this came from Auckland and we're based in Wellington. So it's come the length of the North Island um, here in New Zealand. So yeah, pretty impressed with that. Uh, Deadly Ponies also only send everything uh, signature required so just a good security feature although your courier does need to be one that follows those rules and I was pretty disappointed to see that our courier actually left this on the front step so shout out to a good friend who went and picked this up for me pretty quickly I uh, didn't want it sitting outside so this is the first time I'm opening this box you can see I'm um, cutting the tape open here now um, it is a plain brown box it doesn't have any branding on it at all um, very very small on that courier post sticker there is something that says Deadly Ponies but um, it's not obvious what's in the box which I think is just a good uh, security feature um, I am taking this video at night as well so the lighting is not the best um, and when you see the purple box it's the lighting kind of doesn't really show the true Deadly Ponies colour it's not that far off but just thought I'd point it out and right about now um, I pressed too hard with the scissors and scratched the ribbon just there. So if you are wanting to keep that in good condition, just take it easy with the scissors. There's nothing to protect, protect the two boxes uh, from each other. So there is a sticker here to seal this box. This one wasn't stuck on super well, but uh, it was in good condition. Um, and the box is also really, really sturdy. And since filming this video, I've actually stored my wedding dress in this box. Just was perfect. And I had been meaning to store my wedding dress for a very long time. In the box as well was this card. Now I think that because I checked the tip box for this being a gift, um they put this in there maybe potentially that was um an area i could have put a message on there if it was for someone else um but the thing i liked about receiving it as a gift is i thought i'd get the decent packaging and also the receipt does not come in the box because you know i get doesn't need to see that twice so here you can see this strap that i ordered is on the top um i did order a crossbody strap but i did not order the suggested strap that they have there they suggested uh, a strap that matched the handles sure but it had a piece of chain at each end which uh when i went and saw it in the store i just thought that this strap was more plain and kind of let the bag shine for itself um just here i'm reading what's on that tag it's just like leather care and a little bit about the deadly ponies brand but moving right along uh so this strap that i did choose is I believe just the 95 centimeter standard strap. It comes with brass hardware, just like the bag, and it's stamped with Deadly Ponies, and then also New Zealand on the inside. Just nice and simple, kind of more me, uh, and a tiny bit shorter too, which I also really, really liked because I'm really petite, so things can drown me really quite easily, um, which I talk a little bit more as well with why I chose this bag. But first, uh, you can see here the dust bag that it comes in. It is a drawstring bag, and it's actually quite large. Um, I would say this is bigger than like the bags that you use to do your grocery shopping, um, those recyclable bags. It's definitely more heavy duty than that. Uh, and it's a more dense weave as well, which I quite liked because it kind of, it's gonna do a better job longer term. Uh, it also is a drawstring bag, so these cords are really actually quite nice. I couldn't figure out if they were leather or not. I think they're just cotton, but they just kind of have like a leather feel. And there's something about the length of these drawstrings being perfect that just makes a girl happy. Am I the only one that's like that? Uh, but this is my bag. I was so excited to finally open this. Uh, this is the tag that you can have personalised. I chose not to do this. It's 80 New Zealand dollars, but mainly the reason I chose not to is because their returns policy is null and void if you personalise an item. Uh, it also meant that if I wanted to on-sell this in a few years, I probably would struggle to do so, or I'd have to remove the tag and therefore devalue the bag, so definitely chose against that this time round. It has the same tag on it that the strap had, just outlining Deadly Pony's sort of 
uh, philosophy and how to care for your product. So down to the bag itself, this is the Mr. Moulton Boule. Uh, there is a standard Mr. Moulton and it just has, it just doesn't have the texture basically. Um, you've got the Deadly Ponies emblem on one side and then uh, it's plain on the other side with the plain leather reinforcing the corners, which I thought was a nice touch. Uh, I did some research on this bag and the bag leather is different from the strap. Uh, which you can just see me pointing to the corner of the screen there but essentially this is New Zealand lamb leather which is sent to France for the bubbling texture to be applied to the leather it is then sent back to New Zealand uh, for manufacturing just here I'm having a look at the bottom and you can see that there are no bag feet I'm not sure how I feel about that but uh, we'll see how we go now this is kind of two bags put together which is kind of why I bought it I really wanted to be able to separate my laptop from the rest of my stuff Plus, I really like the fact that one of the pockets does not have any zip pockets. It just means that there is no hardware that can scratch any of your electronics. And just there, I was seeing how deep the pockets were. They're actually quite good, especially that zip pocket on that one side. Uh, both sides have two-way zips, which is really nice. And the zip pocket uh, has purple lining, which I just like for being able to find things in that pocket. And it is quite deep, so... Kind of quite handy. I also like that the slip pockets are on the same side of the bag. Um, I don't know, am I the only one that your brain doesn't want to have to reverse everything if you're wearing the bag on the other shoulder? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Really liked that. And I also just really loved the rounded corners on this bag. So um, I mentioned before how I'm really quite small uh, and basically I just, if I wear anything oversized, it looks ridiculous on me. So um, I just like that that generally makes the bag look smaller. If I'm wearing a bag where those top corners angle outwards, like up and out, uh, it just looks ridiculous on me. It just looks really, really big. So I just love that those are cropped in. As you can see here, these handles are slightly rounded, which just makes them really comfortable on your arm, shoulder, or even in your hand. Uh, and again, they're super, super soft, like much, much softer than I was expecting. And the strap, when you're buying online, that they recommend with the chain pieces that I mentioned before, um, the leather part of the handle does match that style handle. Before ordering the bag, I did go and have a look at it at uh, the Wellington Deadly Pony store. And the guy in the store there was really helpful. And when he put the strap on, I noticed that he's uh, clipped it on as I have here. So one strap on the front and then the opposite side but on the back and what that meant is just when you're wearing the bag across your body it just sits really naturally it doesn't try and twist uh, and it's just much more comfortable as well uh, and then likewise when you're just using the hand held handles the strap actually just hangs really nicely too uh, but basically that's it um, not really anything to have a look at the only other things that I thought might be worth mentioning is if you're trying to order this online and you can't find it on their website I would totally recommend instead of scrolling in the bag section to just use the search bar um, I was looking just by sort of hunting around and I could not find it for love nor money um, popped molten into the search function and the three different styles of molten that they have at the time came up uh, but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you've got any questions just chuck them in down below and i'll do my best to answer them for you uh but that's about it thanks bye